Hey, what's up guys? Well, hope everybody is doing well. Another day, another dollar. Holler. What are you guys up to this week? You guys mowing? You guys doing landscaping? Cleanups? Let me know. Take you guys with us what we got going on for today. Uh, it's actually super cold. We're already uh, mowing a couple of our sites. We've got three under the bag, or in the bag. Mowing one of our big sites right now. Uh, three or four other big ones here today to do, and just never a dull moment. The highway behind me is all backed up. State trooper going by. And uh, never a dull moment, man. It's, uh, it's snowing, because why wouldn't it be snowing? It's 37 degrees on the dash. Real feels probably 30. Um, this site, by the way, uh, I'm pretty sure I picked up about 10 to 12 shooters. It is what it is. <laughs> but uh, people getting their drink in. Ryan's over here crushing it, trimming. He's doing a great job. Mark's over here uh, as well, doing a great job. He's on the mower, learning the mower. Uh, unfortunately, some of you guys might have heard on the last vlog, uh, Foreman Rob is out. Uh, he has a hurt knee. So I'm not really sure uh, what to say there other than you do what you can do. Uh, in the meantime, one second. Uh, you throw this up there, bro. Thank you, sir. Uh, unfortunately, former Rob was uh, motorcycling, and um, this is a whole story, but uh, basically hurt his knee, and uh, he might have a torn like meniscus or MCL, or I'm not really sure. Waiting to hear back from um, x-rays and MRI, all that mess. Hopefully he'll be back up uh, before you know it. Could be out for a week, could be out for six weeks. It is what it is. Uh, hey, Mark, I'm gonna grab the edge, to, edge up front. But, um, you don't have to blow that way, there's nothing there. All right, cool. Hey, really quick, how is it uh, with uh, learning the mower? Oh, it's definitely a little something trying to, you know, patch together these uh, little spots, but it's not too bad. Not too hard. Yeah, it's getting there. I told him, I said, hey, I'm calling you up to the big leagues, dude. Uh, I need you mowing and uh, running foreman for right now because Rob's out, uh, which sucks. Um, prayers for Rob. But uh, anyway, it's, it's a learning experience, but doing a great job mowing, dude. Seriously, I see all these stripes right here you guys can see. Looking beautiful. Uh, the thumbnail that I took was from your back uh, backyard at Sherwin. Oh heck yeah! That looked really really good. And uh, why is it snowing though? I was just want to say why is why is this crap falling? <laughs> My hands are numb. I've been using the exhaust from the mower to warm up. <laughs> so it is what it is. All right. Well, we gotta go change out the edger blade. I gotta go edge up front of this business. Probably dripping snot on this whole video, looking like a baller. But all right, guys. Well, hang tight. We'll get some mowing footage for you guys. And uh, again, hope you guys are doing well, man. No baby just yet. Uh, but at the same point, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get time to edit this video and put it up on the YouTubes. But hey, let me know what you guys are doing. Leave me some comments down below. Hit the big thumbs up if you guys can. We'll keep it moving, keep it grooving. Let's keep moving. All right, guys. So really quick, I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but holy cow, it is snowing like freaking crazy. Uh, you guys might have remembered this site. I don't know if we showed this site, actually, but we mulched all this. This is a new HOA we picked up. But dude, it is snowing like legit like it is hardcore snowflakes right now never a dull moment you guys can probably see the garb has changed from jackets to t-shirts t-shirts to jacket along the way today and uh it's absolutely wild what kind of weather are you guys getting is it warm is it cold i don't know let me know we got this whole big pond that we do right here we got a whole strip down another mile road here it's about seven acre site probably take us about two two and a half hours maybe to do this whole thing but it is freaking cold, it is snowy, and you gotta love it. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Why? Yeah, it's snowing. <laughs> why is it snowing? I was just doing Instagram stories and I said, why is it snowing right now? It's cold as crap, bro. Look, like, yeah. my cheeks are numb. Yeah. We've been doing all of our big commercial sites, so I'm just like. I'm kind of happy that it's cold, just a little bit. <laughs> why? Only because okay. when, you're, when your skin gets cold and then you have a rock hit it, you like, don't feel it? You don't feel it. <laughs> fair point. It's a fair point. We're doing our best to do as much edging this week uh, to get all the lines done because next week the grass is probably going to really start growing. But I just can't believe we were mulching two weeks ago. My arms are flaking. Oh, yeah. my sunburn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mine, mine even worse. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. finally flaking off. Liz, like, that's gross. But I'm like, how do I have sunburn flaking off? And then I'm also watching it snow two weeks later. 
That's pure Michigan for you. <laughs> Any which way. All right, well, I gotta get back to this pond. Just a little check-in, little update, but let's keep it going, guys. All right, guys, well, it's a little bit later. Sunny's out. Next day, I'm gonna go mow some more lawns for you guys. I'm gonna go tackle this corner one here. Uh, we actually have 60 and sunny, and the next couple days, rain. Ugh. Five, five days of rain. Can't catch a break, man. We cannot catch a break. We got two cleanups to do at the end of today, too, so it's probably gonna be a six to seven o'clock day, but ready to go, Mo? Oh, yeah. All right, here, I'll give you that. Let's go see what we got. By the way, we got 500 hours on the Vertex, so we got a video coming soon.
see what we got. These lawns are growing thick. Oh, it's actually not too bad. We wouldn't barely even have a half of one bushel or whatever they call it. I don't think it's called a bushel, but half of one bag. But man, that's looking really nice. I might hit it again. The reason we're using the Toro on these last couple is because last week we were trying to mow. We were a day behind on Monday, which pushed the whole route to Tuesday through Friday. Then on Friday we got rained out at about, what, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock? Yeah, that's it, man. Then we went out on Saturday from about 12.30, yeah. 1 ish, till about 2, and then we got rained out again. We had five lawns left, so these are two weeks of spring growth. They're thick. But of course, we didn't want to leave the revenue on the table, but uh, anyway, we're taking the Toro on these just couple to uh, make them look nice, get them back in the shape. We don't want to leave clippings all over the place. So, anyway, it's been a minute. I haven't uh, actually mowed with the Toro with the bagger uh, for mowing, for grass clippings. You know, obviously we use it for uh, leaf cleanups, but it actually does a really good job with grass clippings. Those stripes look nice. Those stripes look nice, dude. I've yeah. always said the Toro stripe nice, especially uh, with the baffles wide open on uh, Kentucky Blue. It looks good. All right, well, we got the other front lawn. We'll hang tight, keep it going. Sweet. Looks good, dude. All right. Looks as good as ever. There you go. That's good, that's good. No, we don't want to get it all tangled up up there. Um, there you go. All right. Uh, the thing is on your side. Gotcha. Uh, you want to pull forward with the truck? Yeah. All right, sweet. Keep going. That's good. Sweet, dude. Good job. All day's work. There goes Mark with the rig and the setup. It has been a day for sure. Not sure when I'm gonna be able to edit this and uh, get it up for you guys, hopefully by Friday, but it's actually Thursday, real time, coming in hot. Uh, it's been it's been a week, man. Um, started off with rain, started off with snow, uh, but nonetheless, it does feel good to finally have everything uh, wrapped up and uh, making some good money. We did two extra cleanups, $350 each, that's 700 bucks. Full mow route today. Um, everybody did a great job. Let me know how you guys' week went down in the comment section down below. I love reading and seeing what you guys got going on. You guys doing cleanups, you guys doing mulch, you guys getting snow. I saw Michigan uh, up north is getting uh, some snow and maybe even like Minnesota areas. What? Dude, it's like almost freaking May. Uh, any which way, if you guys are watching this video, still no baby just yet, should be here any second. But let me wrap up with one last quick thought. Uh, you guys might have saw this as a community post, but you can now register for Equip Expo. I just got the postcard in the mail yesterday. I uh, wanted to make sure that I included this in a vlog. If you guys wanna save 50% off your registration, uh, we'll leave our link in the description. It's promo code Brian, go figure. <laughs> and uh, that's October 17th, uh, 17th through the 20th this year down in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. That's the green industry trade show. It's the biggest one uh, in our whole industry. 25,000 people descend uh, on Louisville, Kentucky. You guys know that it's going to be uh, equipment, community, uh, training, after parties. It's going to be a blast. I hope to see you guys down there. Uh, do me a big solid. Use promo code Brian. Uh, we do get a small affiliate kickback with that. So if you guys enjoy the channel or any of our content you want to support, that's the best way to do it. And uh, we super appreciate that support for real. So make sure you guys register. Uh, you need to get a ticket for you and one for each person, uh, part of your crew, if you guys are going down there. Uh, Liz and I will be there all week uh, with new baby in tow. 
40 years of expo don't miss your chance to celebrate yeah they've got some new concerts going on on thursday night as well at the uh, kfc yum center so anyway so guys uh equip expo tickets now on sale that's what i got to wrap up this vlog you guys have a great day great night and uh have a safe weekend we'll catch up with you guys here next week